Racing is competition. No complex rules, just one simple metric. Am I faster than you? Did I finish first? We love to race. We race on horses, on foot, on planes, boats, trains, and of course, my favorite, cars. In 1972, Sam Bell bought a brand new 454 big block Corvette. It was an amazing car, one of the fastest cars you could buy in the day. I guess it wasn't fast enough for old Sam because in 1974, he built it into a 700 horsepower race car. And he wanted to go out and race this car with my dad, my uncle, and a bunch of these guys as crew. And I would get to hang out with them as they rebuilt the car and, and worked on it. And I burned my fingerprints off on this car when I was about seven years old. But man, I loved every minute of it, just hearing their stories and watching them work. Well, eventually Sam wrecked the car. And uh, life's priorities started to change. And Sam didn't fix it. And it sat for 35 years, up until very recently, when Sam decided it was time to rebuild it. To start this process, Sam builds an entire addition onto his house by himself. <laughs> and uh, ultimately, he would, lay, he would lay the fiberglass, he would rebuild the mechanicals, manufacture parts, and paint the thing by himself, but with the help of some of the original crew, my dad included. Now, while Sam was working on the car, my dad was working on Sam. And what he was doing was saying, Sam, this car can't just sit here again. We've got to go out and race it. So my dad did the legwork to get the car entered into the Monterey Historics, which is one of the most famous vintage races at Laguna Seca. Now this is a very special track to me, because I've personally raced hundreds of hours on this track. I know every corner. I've raced it in video games. But... <laughs> so you can imagine how cool it was for me to be on the track physically, only yards away from these monstrous horsepower cars as they thunder down the straight, and the smell of the gasoline and the vibration in my chest cavity as these cars came by is completely indescribable. But one of the things we noticed as the car went by on the first run was that it wasn't running right. We could hear it missing badly, and uh, the car was running slow, and this is not a slow car. Um, so we went back into the pits, and something. this is where things really got interesting. You would think that we'd be pretty bummed out because we're a thousand miles from home, and car's not running right. But actually, what, what happened was Sam got very excited and said, this is, this is real racing now. And a crowd started to form, and he started tearing, tearing down the engine. People were really interested in what was going on. Well, we found out that the car had a bad camshaft. The engine had a bad camshaft. And uh, it was 35 years old, and we hadn't been able to test it before we went. So, well, it turns out you can't just go down to your local Chevy dealer and buy a high-lift high racing cam. They don't have them. So I spent hours on the phone and the internet and eventually found one and got a friend to drive it up from Oakland and we spent the rest of the night putting it in. Now Sam Bell is the chief mechanic, he's also the driver, so worked all night and started to feel this community around us both at night and then in the morning, people had gotten word what we had done, it's not an easy thing to rebuild a motor uh, outside. So. Uh, this, these guys are actually from a competing team. They came over to help us rebuild, and we started to feel this incredible sense of community. Everybody wanted to see us run. People were coming by, looking at the car, saying, all right, guys, get it going. And here Sam is when it fires up, and my dad's there in the window, and we're just all thrilled that the thing's going again. Now, here's my dad doing his sales thing again. He's telling the tech inspectors, which are the only rules in racing, no, no, the car's good, you gotta let us run. I mean, these guys are there to make sure the car's vintage. We got this brand new cam in there, but my dad's <laughs> sweet talking them, and sure enough, now here's the, here's the face of determination and courage. After staying up all night, working on this car, Sam's strapping himself in for, to a 700 horsepower race car, and he's gonna barrel it around that track as hard as he can. Sure enough, he did. So we didn't win the race, we would have liked to, but uh, what we did find was this very cool community. Everybody was behind us and, and was happy to help us out with what we did. This guy, Dick Goldstrand, signing the car, he's one of the most famous race car drivers and one of the most famous Corvette drivers. So what I found was the coolest people at, at the track were the fire safety people, just like at Burning Man. And here I am on the fire truck riding around Laguna Seca. So, Cars out back, come and see us. The whole crew is here. Thank you.